Out a live look at the Golden Triangle where we are watching the water levels at this hour. Today we're expecting to see flooding across our area. Lauren Linder continues our live team coverage. She joins us live on the North Shore. So Lauren, with the rivers on the rise, this is going to impact a lot of communities. That's right, Lindsay and David. As I was coming into work about two hours ago, I was able to drive on the 10th Street bypass right across the river here. That is now closed. When I was driving, I could even see some of the river walk underwater. And it's the same case right here on the North Shore. If you take a look here by PNC Park, you can see the river walk is covered by water right there. And so they closed the bypass now on the, the 10th Street bypass. They closed it between I-279 Park way north at the Fort Duquesne Bridge and Fort Duquesne Boulevard due to expected flooding. Also, the ramps from northbound and southbound on I-279 to the bypass are closed. All traffic is being detoured. You're advised to use Fort Duquesne Boulevard to get around the closure. Also, at 10 a.m., PennDOT is closing the bathtub area of Parkway East inbound. If water levels rise faster, expect it to close earlier. Right now, according to the National National Weather Service, the Ohio River is at 21 feet, which means the river walk down below me is under two feet of water. When the river is at 22 feet, the 10th Street bypass floods. So we're getting close. The river continues to rise. It seems like every single time that I continue to be on the continue to report and we'll continue to monitor the situation throughout the rest of our newscasts. For now, reporting live from the North Shore, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.